welcome back to my channel my name is Julia Salvia and we are back with another foundation Friday that's not necessarily on a Friday this is the brand new Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. I was sent this from Influencer and I really wanted to review this for you guys and I'm so excited that I got this box from them because, I mean, hello, this is what's poppin'. and my brows on but we are going to test this foundation I'm gonna leave it on for a couple of hours and we're gonna come back and see how it does so let's get into it so let's see how this goes so I'm spreading this around my face first and then we're gonna go in with a beauty blender but it looks like I got the color almost next to perfect. Yeah, you guys, I really got a good shade here. It doesn't look like it's oxidizing, so it looks like it's true to the shade that you first, you know, when you first apply it. Let me zoom you guys in so we can take a look. So this is what it looks like up close. I'm actually really enjoying it so far. I can see just a little bit of redness in this area, but I didn't really pack this foundation on because I know I'm gonna be putting a ton of concealer in that area, but it's giving me more of a natural finish. It's not fully matte. It has a little tiny bit of dewiness to it, so I think that it could work right now. I think that it could work for dry or oily skin. Let me go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, and I will come back with additional thoughts. All right, you guys, I'm back. I have finished my makeup. Let me zoom you guys in closer so we can really go over this foundation. So to be quite honest with you guys, I have no problem with it. I really want to spray a setting spray, but I know that I just finished my makeup, so it is going to look a little bit like done and not fully completed. I always love to spray setting spray to kind of let everything soak together, if you know what I mean. But um, my only concern is it's a little dry right here on my forehead. Um, other than that, I really don't have much else to say. It looks really good. I chose literally the perfect color. Like I have such trouble finding a perfect shade and this one is like right on the money. So I'm gonna go ahead, go about my day and then I'm gonna come back in a couple hours and then we're gonna take a look at this foundation and see if it's really good and we're gonna test it and we're gonna see if it's really good all right guys I'll be right back well I'll be back <laughs> all right you guys I am back it has been it's been about a solid six to eight ish hours that I've had the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation on. Let me zoom you guys in close so that we can really take a look at it. So as I said, the color was perfect. It didn't change in color. It stayed basically the same. My only concern with this foundation is just this area right here. I had, I had a lot to eat. And um, I think that kind of messed up kind of like the top lip area. But right here on the sides of my nose, it started to get that little bit of creasing. This right here is for my glasses. And I did itch my nose a bit, which caused the foundation to come off. But it looks like it's pretty good, you know, trying to like blend it back. Up here on the forehead, that really didn't change. It kind of stayed a little bit creased. And it did just get a tiny bit textured right here on my chin. Looking at this foundation from far away, I really do actually enjoy it. It looks really good, especially the color being so perfect for my skin tone. Um, that's the only, this is really the only area that I have to say I disliked and I think what could help that area a little bit is not to set it the way that I did with kind of pushing the powder into that, um, like into the skin. So I don't think I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try the foundation again and I'm not gonna do it that, that time. Does that make sense? No. 
I think maybe a more hydrating controlled primer underneath this foundation would work much better than the primers that I used um, yeah but I don't have much bad to say except for just this area trying to figure out what would suit best underneath it looks like this foundation would actually do really well with just combination skin um, or possibly slightly oily skin or slightly dry skin I think it would work for either or but also remember you guys when trying out a foundation sometimes what you put underneath can you know make or break that foundation and what you put on top can also make or break the foundation I also think that in this case if I sprayed a setting spray it may have actually sat better on my face than it did so with all that being said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this foundation review on the brand new Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. If you get your hands on this foundation or you have tried it, leave your comments down below on what you think about this foundation. I would love to hear your thoughts. And of course, also tell me what other foundation reviews you want to see. As always, make sure to subscribe right here and don't forget to click that notification bell which you can find right underneath this video so you don't miss out on a single video that I post. And of course, check out all of my other foundation reviews. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you soon. Bye!